Prophecy Chronicles with God's Servant Yamkala Joseph. In this broadcast you will receive updates on prophecies which the Lord has spoken through his enabled servant. Beloved, but I see that this is going to affect 2024, where I see that the next coming elections will actually be the greatest problem in the country. It will be the greatest problem in the country. So begin to pray. I believe that God is going to reveal a lot as time goes. The Lord loves you. Shalom. The biggest political shakeup in three decades is looming. By early Thursday evening, just over 30% of the vote had been counted, and the once dominant ANC is being battered in a number of regions. So it was 3 a.m. in this morning uh, when the Lord spoke to me about this in a vision. So in this vision, I see two prophetic presidents or presidents or symbols. So two presidents which are prophetic symbols, which are also prophetic uh, uh, symbols that the Lord spoke to me about. So I'll just read to you what I wrote. I was in this vision, I was in the United States through a South African lady who invited me for a conference. Her radio name is Mafa Nelukazi. She is in the radio in the United States in Atlanta. Her real second name is Apleni. While we were in this lounge or main dining space, two South African presidents came to join the prayers. As they came one by one in the dining hall, one of the presidents is President Zuma, and the other I only knew in the dream. But upon waking up, I could not remember his face or name. It is as if it was wiped out of my memory. But as these presidents appeared in the room, Zuma was asked by my wife, why is he not praying? He said, I believe in the God of how scientists describe him. But internally, he was praying silently to the Lord Jesus. The other president who was there would look like Zuma, but still I didn't remember him properly. I don't know if he was a duplicate of President Zuma or it was president, former president Mbeki. But I called these two presidents to sit down with me as I will tell them the prophetic symbols of their presidency through the two eagles which seated on their shoulders. Now family, I want you to know that I'm not sure whether the second president who the person is but what I am sure about is that the other president amongst these two was the president this the former president of South Africa president Jacob Zuma who was part of the two president then the other one is as if like when I woke up from this vision it was wiped out of my memory so only Jacob Zuma stayed in my memory until the morning as the Lord wanted me to document what I have seen now I will not try to guess and who he was but it, I don't know if it looked like a duplicate or like a duplicate of the same president President Zoma of he had two bodies or not I don't know because it looked like it, it was him but at the same time there were two presidents before me but I called these two presidents to sit down with me as I will tell them the prophetic symbol of their presidency through the two eagles which seated on their shoulders. As I was prophesying, I said, the first president, his presidency was a symbol of divine beginnings and the uproot of the wicked. And the second presidency of Zuma was a continued was a continuation of the uproot of the weekend. So this is what the Lord said. The first presidency of the first president 
was the beginning was the divine beginning of the uprooting of the wicked and the uprooting of the wicked and then the second presidency which is the presidency of Jacob Zuma was the presidency that continues with the uproot of the wicked but unfortunately they both failed because they didn't know the magnitude of the evil and the size of the cabal that they were dealing with as i prophesied to them about their attempts to uproot this cabal i asked that i should take a picture with both of them as the prophetic illustration of the future that is not forgotten as i looked at the two presidents the lord said one of them had the toughest presidency period and the greatest persecution but he would still ask the lord jesus christ in his private times to help him and that was jacob zuma the lord further showed me how he tried to fix the nation but was hindered by this great cabal which meets under the ground or in the mountainous cave so this cabal the lord said to me there's a cabal that meets under the ground and meets in an in a, in a mountainous cave the lord as he spoke to me asked as he spoke to me asked that we pray for the cleaning up of this cabal is not yet finished and it will be finished then i was left to prepare for the upcoming program in the united states as the tour i was going to embark on in visiting different states in the nation the dream was left after i took a picture with the two presidents now i took a picture with these two presidents and i told them that i want to take a picture as a evidence that i have met them and spoke to them the word of the lord after the two eagles sat upon their shoulders and i was then allowed to interpret their presidential terms the lord says the first one it was the beginning of the uproot and the second term it was actually the continuation of the uproot of the wicked now it's amazing that the lord speaks to me about these two presidents but it is as if like the prophecy does not happen in south africa it is as if like i'm in atlanta in the united states and i'm there for a conference and which i was invited to preach in and and and, and this radio personality invited me and now i was with this president in the dining room now there are many things that I've not probably you would not explain to you but I say to you these are two presidents that I'm seeing but I don't know the other but the other is clear to me and the Lord spoke to me about these two presidents that I should interpret their terms now those are in South Africa I have to pray because this means the Lord wants to do something to the to the nation of South Africa it means that the Lord has not forgotten about South Africa and God will do something pray that God will use his hand and mighty hand to clean up the cabal that the Lord spoke to me about that there is a cabal and it says they meet under the ground and they meet in a mountainous area now family i want you to pray it had been a slow and steady day and then this the former president now the head of the upstart mk party an unexpected challenge to the anc already reeling from voter anger over economic mismanagement and corruption scandals. Jacob Zuma has created quite a stir here. He's made a rock star entrance. His party came third with an unexpectedly strong showing. Take a lot of votes away from the ANC. And still trying to take more. He announced he had evidence of election rigging, said he was considering a demand for a full revote. It's been very difficult for me to continue to come to you, especially to speak on this matter, because I know it has to do with political favoritism or favors or whatever, because that's what the people of the world do. But I want to make sure that I speak to you as a prophet right now, and I speak to you from the mind of the Lord and the heart of God concerning this matter. Though you might not fully understand what heaven is interested in in this case, 
but I want you South Africa to get to understand that there are deep things in this nation that needs to be dealt with of which the father in heaven the God of heaven said he will deal with them nevertheless he will deal with them the fire of God that is about to rise for destruction in this country family you have to pray the Bible said when there was light in Goshen there was darkness in Egypt God is about to break the powers of globalists in the country South Africa God is going to crack them down and God is going to destabilize them the Spirit of the Lord is coming to destroy even the globalist agenda that is taking place in the nation of South Africa from the head of state down to the roots to those who are in power and those who are not in power God is going to deal with corruption real corruption God is going to deal with it and I want you to know that for the fact that God said pray for this former president there is something that in him triggers the movement of God results of floor and uh, you can see behind me that there is uh, quite a de concerning development in terms of the results of course we were told that the leaderboard would constantly be showing us what exactly is happening in terms of the vote counting but as you can see behind me uh, we're seeing absolutely nothing we don't know at this stage whether it's another technical glitch um, we are trying to get the IEC to respond in terms of uh, what we are experiencing here now um, the results board has been um, blank for at least about 30 minutes now if you go to the website itself um, it's, it's not reflecting uh, any of the, the results in fact it's um, giving us zeros um, as if we're back to voting day but to just react I am joined by um, some of the officials from the political parties that are here um, at the rock I'm joined by uh, Wayne Thring from the ACDP perhaps um, have you heard anything in terms of why we're not seeing uh, the results reflecting at this stage no in fact just as I was went off for an interview we noticed that my previous interview we noticed that the board was actually blank and it's obviously very concerning it's concerning because this begins to rouse uh, suspicions uh, speculation and certainly it's not something that the IEC can afford we've already had challenges with your VMDs your voter uh, management devices has caused long delays unnecessary long delays um, issuing of wrong ballots sending people to different voting stations with those VMDs and now you have this it's a glitch that the IEC sh uh, should be avoiding uh, and certainly it's, it's going to arouse suspicions and so the ACDP very clearly uh, is not happy with the fact that uh, there's nothing showing on on the leadership board at the moment uh, you know we had these challenges where the power went off a few years ago at one of the um, results uh, national results um, and there was huge speculation in terms of what happened in that period where, where there was no power um, so certainly we don't want any speculations the, the IEC should be avoiding uh, such situations so it's not it's not good for our democracy. Uh, it was just um, uh, uh, on the 29th of April, the Lord spoke to me concerning the president of South Africa, uh, former president Jacob Zuma. And in this vision, the Lord gave me a dream up around 2 a.m. in the morning where the Lord showed me the things that were happening behind the scenes and what was to come for this president. President former President Jacob Zuma. Now, family, I want you to pray because the Spirit of the Lord has again gave me another word. Uh, by this time around, it is around 2 a.m. in the early hours of this morning, and the Lord visits me in a vision. And the Lord says to me that, in this vision, he, he displays a picture of the former president of South Africa, the president Jacob Zuma. Now, in this vision, I just explained the vision. In this vision, I see water and I see as if like the military, helicopters of the military and certain military power was guarding all in the waters guarding the waters surrounding the president of the former president of south africa that is jacob zuma now as i 
watched in this vision it looked like the the president former president of south africa had a special military force that was assigned to protect him on the south african military so it was like this is a military specialized force which is designated to protect the former president that is what in the vision i saw now as i saw these military men it is as if like they are on in front of the ocean and as if like the president the former president of south africa was about to embark in this journey and in this journey is wearing a blue a blue suit it's like a blue suit uh, it's a navy blue suit and uh, and a tie and is wearing shade and is on top of this uh, uh transport it's not like it's a it's not a ship it's not a but it's something that is i i don't know how to call it. it's not a submarine but it's almost like a floating uh, it's a it's a tool that is like it's floating on the on the water it's a kind of a vehicle that is floating on the water then the president is seated i mean he's standing on that vehicle and is it's moving on top of the waters and the military powers are actually guarding him and it is moving and i hear the voice that says that there, there there's a journey and it's like there is power that is given to this president, the former president of South Africa, and there's a journey that is ahead of him. Now, I don't know what the extent of, 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 of what the Lord is trying to display, but I believe that the Lord, including the military and what is happening on the former president of South Africa, the Lord is calling me and you to come to prayer to pray for the nation of South Africa and to pray for the president the former president of South Africa Jacob Zuma now family this is beyond politics this is beyond uh, what you can think and what you know because now the Lord is saying this to me in so that I can invite you to pray so I don't want to comment I don't want to to put any view about anything but what I want you is to pray for the president Jacob Zuma and to pray for South Africa as well so this is what the Lord spoke to me in the early hours of the morning at, at, at 2 at 2 at 20 minutes past 2 a.m. in the morning when the Lord spoke to me in this vision <coughs> so I want you to pray I want you to give this time and pray for the president of South Africa, the former president of South Africa, President Jacob Zuma, and to pray for the nation and the and the nation's military. God bless you. I love you so much. Former President Jacob Zuma is now being held at the Escort Correctional Center in KwaZulu Natal after handing himself over ahead of the midnight deadline. Zuma's arrest follows a lengthy legal battle to avoid the Constitutional Court's incarceration order. The country's highest court sentenced Zuma to 15 months in jail for contempt after he failed to attend hearings of the state capture inquiry. The convoy uh, taking Zuma from his Nkandla home left after one last ditch attempt by Zuma's lawyers to prevent their client's arrest. They asked acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo to instruct the police to stay the arrest until judgment in the application for a suspension order is delivered by the Peter Maritzburg High Court on Friday. However, his foundation later tweeted that Zuma had decided to comply with the incarceration order and the police ministry confirmed the former president. And exactly as you just saw with the prophecy by yourself that the spirit of the Lord made it clear that this is not about politics but the Lord said you should pray for this former president and pray for South Africa. Now, family, I want you to know that the president of South Africa, former president of South Africa, President Jacob Zuma, is not by any means uh, affiliated with our ministry or there is any of interest with whatever that he does and his life, whatever. We don't have any relation of some sort and there are no contacts or nothing. All that you see working in Jesus Friends TV is the Spirit of the Lord and the Lord working in our lives. And it is the Lord who has asked us to pray and to watch over the nations. Now my only role as a prophet is to become a watchman and to declare the word of the Lord in favorable and unfavorable conditions. A prophet is almost mostly 
the greatest person that is misunderstood by many because the ministry of the prophetic is confrontational and sometimes it makes those who are in authority to be uncomfortable. So that's why I come to you today because God spoke to me clear that we needed to pray. When you see this happen, you need to pray for South Africa. You need to pray for the nation of South Africa because this country is about to see the greatest judgment of the world. Now, in the past, I said uh, last year that God was on a move against corrupt politicians. And I said God was going to punish from the head of state down to the grassroots. All corrupt politicians were going to be brought into book by the Lord. But this time around, the Lord came to me and said to me, I ask you to pray for this president, former president of South Africa, President Jacob Zuma. Now, there's many media statements that are made about this president, about everything that is taking place. But I want you to know that for the Lord to ask us to pray for him, there is something that the Lord wants to say. Now, in this vision, I saw this president and I saw him given power. I saw him having military around him and I saw him as if like he was wearing shades and wearing a blue suit and there was on top of the height is moving the waters we will use our leadership and membership of SADC our membership of BRICS and the G20 the Commonwealth and many other international bodies to forge a new world order founded on equality. It was only a month ago where I woke up early in the morning and told my wife about a dream that I had. Again, another one concerning the former president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma. And in this dream, again, I saw the former president of South Africa as if in a house that is protected by white military men. I saw white military men protecting the former president of South Africa. Now you know that the, the military of South Africa is mixed, obviously. But specifically, the Lord told me that I saw white military men protecting former president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, in a sort of like a home kind of a thing. I don't know what was the chaos that took place. Then I told my wife, I said, no, I wouldn't come to you to tell you about this dream. I'll just pray about it and leave it as it is. So I never came to you about it. I... That's why I'm just summarizing all of it because some of the parts of the dream might have faded away. But what was more important and the emphasis at the time was to see the former president surrounded once again by these white military men. My vote goes to MK, has always been and will be. And now you must understand it comes from a Boer that had fought against the Zulus, but it's time that we get back to Blood River. We have to go and wash our swords, and I've agreed with the king that we're going to do it. We're going to wash our sanas, our guns, and we're going to wash the, uh, the swords, and we're going to make peace in this country, and we will run. And let me tell you something, that small man that looked so small when the first time I saw him, he grew in stature as I saw him in Nkandla, and God showed me this is going to be a president once more. Before he goes to heaven and he will sing with the angels a new song, this man will lead this country. This is a prophecy. You can see it today. In the next two weeks, we can make it happen. He's the only man that can unite South Africa. Nobody else can. Now, family, the interpretation of the waters here, it is that when every time you see the sea or the waters, it's either a spirit or it's either a crowd. So the water in this vision, it means it was the sea. It means a, a crowd of people. So meaning that 
Jacob Zuma was floating on in the midst of a crowd of people in the vision. And as well as you look at interpretation of the soldiers, those soldiers you see, they were there and, and some security clusters, they were there some for protection and some, obviously they said they were, they, they were sent to arrest him. To South Africa now, where the country is preparing for a general election later this month, which could see the ruling ANC party facing its toughest test in 30 years. The former president, Jacob Zuma, has returned to politics with a new party, MK, and is launching its manifesto in Soweto this afternoon. Our Africa correspondent, Yuspra El Bagir, reports. South Africa is about to be shaken from the foundations as God is about to deliver the nation. And God is telling me that a season is coming and now it is approaching where we shall begin to see injustice overwhelmed by justice. Because the road of justice is going to stand up as God prepares the earth for the opening of the courts of heaven. And I want you to know that as we said, he will open up the courts of heaven. Indeed he will. And remember he sits as a righteous judge. He sits as a man that is upon. An old face with a new party and the wild card of this election. Mr. Zuma, Sky News, no, 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 no. are you the kingmaker of this election, sir? You're going up in the polls. Are you the kingmaker of this election? The energy is infectious. This devoted crowd traveled hours to see him. And hours later, he arrives. You rarely see anything like this for a man who isn't even the current president, but just the thrill of seeing him again, of the potential in this election for him to be back in power has everyone going crazy. <laughs> We can see now the real leader is Jacob the Zuma. Even at 82, he still got some moves. And invoking Mandela is one of them. We wouldn't be a good nation if we said things can't be fixed, he says. We're fixing things now. He's feeding off of rising discontent and splitting votes with his new MK party at a time when the ruling ANC is more vulnerable than ever. MK is for the truth! ANC has done nothing for us! 30 years since the vote that brought South Africans freedom, the party that liberated it is being tested from within. And the man that once rallied for the ANC is now leading the charge against it. Yusuf al Baghir, Sky News, Soweto. I want you to know that it speaks the interest of heaven because God wants to reveal the corruption that takes place in this country. That is beyond one day. I, I don't know what you have to say. I don't know what you're saying uh, about whatever that is taking place. But I come as a prophet. The Lord said to me that God is ready to reveal the corruption that is taking place in South Africa and there's going to become a punishment to the evil. The Bible says, touch not my prophets. Do my my anointed ones know how. So touch on my anointed ones and do my prophets know how. Now, the, this country, South Africa, has been hostile. The government of this country has been hostile against the church, against God's servants. And they're fighting the church. And I warned them since last year, stop fighting the church. Now, what is about to take place is not going to be favorable for the current president, head of state, President Sir Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa. Now, many of you understand that I've given many prophecies about this man, even before the COVID-19 pandemic, 
have given many prophecies in this platform that the warning words were sent everything was done to warn this current sitting president about what is coming but unfortunately none of that has prevailed none of that has even impacted or made a difference in the world but the bible say if a sinner is warned of his of his own sin and continues in his own way and not heed the warning then his blood shall be in his own hands but if a watchman sees a sinner sinning and he does not warn the sinner of his own sin then the sinner continues then the blood of that sinner shall be upon the watchman so i come to do my part it is for you to do your own part and it is for the government of this country to do their own part i come to you because it's about the fire of God that is about to rise for disruption in this country. Family, you have to pray. The Bible said when there was light in Goshen, there was darkness in Egypt. God is about to break the powers of globalists in the country, South Africa. God is going to crack them down and God is going to destabilize them. The Spirit of the Lord is coming to destroy even the globalist agenda that is taking place in the nation of South Africa. From the head of state down to the roots to those who are in power and those who are not in power, God is going to deal with corruption. The real corruption, God is going to deal with. And I want you to know that for the fact that God said pray for this former president, there is something that in him triggers the movement of God. I don't know what you want to say. I don't know what you have to say about this president, this former president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, who just got arrested. He has nothing. We've got nothing. Uh, there is no favoritism. There is nothing. But I want you to say, I want you to understand that God has his hand in all this. God has his hand in all what is taking place and i want you to watch and to pray watch and pray watch and pray and i want this city president of south africa that god is going to bring about judgment in this country and i want to realize in the beginning of the year 2021 the spirit of the lord revealed to me a list of things that were going to take place in the one of the things that we spoke about on the 28th of December 2020 here on Jesus Christ, we spoke about it, that God was going to reveal corruption in education. I said in the year of 2021 in South Africa, watch over the Jewish faith. The hand of the Lord is about to reveal corruption on the South African judiciary. And I said it will be known all over the world. Now, family, pray because the former president of South Africa might not be a perfect man. But the Lord says, I will use him as a symbol. I will use him as a symbol into exposing, not just exposing, but unveiling the foundations of the nation, which have nothing to do with him. God says, I will use him to expose the foundations of the nations which have nothing to do with him. Nobody must force us to say now this is what are as a result. But the results are not correct. I think the institutions must satisfy us that they did look into the issues. We are going to need the time. Nobody must declare... If that happens, people will be provoking us because we know what we are talking about. Yes. We are not guessing. Yes. We know. And why should they write to count? And I'm hoping whoever is responsible is hearing what we are saying. Don't start trouble when there is no trouble.
want you to understand that. South Africa is about to be shaken from the foundations as God is about to deliver the nation. And God is telling me that a season is coming and now it is approaching where we shall begin to see injustice overwhelmed by justice. Because the rod of justice is going to stand up as God prepares the earth for the opening of the courts of heaven. And I want you to know that as we said, he will open up the courts of heaven. Indeed, he will. And remember, he sits as a righteous judge. He sits as a man that is upon the throne. And remember, I prophesied about the dilemmas and the things that were coming to this president, Jacob Zuma. And I want you to know that I come to give a word of warning once again to the nation of South Africa to pray. And to intercede and to ask God for mercy. To ask God for love to reign in the nation. And I tell you, family, that the coming year 2022 in South Africa is a year where the people of the nation has to rise in prayer and rise and call for justice because it will be unbearable in the streets of the land says the spoke out. The MK party says it has it on good authority that IEC officials based in Nyandeni and the Buffalo City Metro were caught red-handed tampering with votes. At the time, the provincial leadership of IEC did not want to take up this till the national commissioner instructed them to. And this on its own really worries us. Why would they not take, even if it's one incident, incident it then, then raises many questions around the credibility of the process itself. But the IEC in the province refutes these claims. The result that we found was the same as what was there on the, on the result of the presiding officer. We, 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 we suspect that the presiding officer was panicking and she was trying to put her house in order. So to speak, she wanted to be. Um, I can't speak for her, but no, uh, uh, no interference with the results that came from the voting stations was uh, was 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 evident. With voter turnout in 2024 poor, the Democratic Alliance in the province has also highlighted the importance of voter education. We still have, for example, residents that believe that if something uh, isn't working in their ward, it's because of the ward councillor instead of actually the municipal government that might be responsible for something not being fixed uh, because of the collapse in government. So we need uh, increased voter education because many voters who haven't come out to vote unfortunately personally believe, well, I voted for so many years and what difference has it made? With the curtain closing on the 2024 elections, there will no doubt be many lessons learned on how the voting experience can be improved. Ronald Masinda, East London. So again, I come to you to tell you that I want to warn the nation of South Africa concerning the matters of the former president. Everyone deserves justice. Everybody is equal before the law. But the God of heavens doesn't like to see injustice. And because when injustice comes, it really makes the Lord unhappy. Now, I don't know why God wants to protect this president. But the Lord says to me, he will. But South Africa has to pray for a set moment not to come. Pray for a sad moment not to come because the pain that you are feeling right now, it will be more when a sad moment comes. The president of South Africa, currently the president of Sir Ramaphosa, as I said before, the current president needs to pray, needs to ask God for forgiveness. Unless so, a lot of things are coming on his way. A 
lot of things. When we said the year of 2022 is the year of the opening of the courts of heaven, one of the emphasis the Lord spoke about was that the president of South Africa, Sir Ramaphosa, many of the people that he thought were with him are not with him, and very soon he shall begin to see the files being opened, meaning that the Lord will open up the files. Yamkala Joseph has been released by God in the year of 2020 to publicly prophesy and speak to the nations of the world. Since then we have seen many prophetic fulfillment and events foretold before they happen in a very accurate and powerful way. If this generation is to believe, they should know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. If this generation is to believe, they should know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. I believe that Jesus Christ has now become the center of your life. And you are blessed by the testimonies, the prophecies that you keep seeing in this channel. Now, if you have not made the Lord Jesus Christ to become the Lord of your life, I believe that, that right now, this is the time, this is the hour. The Bible says we believe with our mouth and we believe with our hearts and we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord and we are saved. So I believe right now that as you confess that he is the Lord of your life, he can save you, he can deliver you. So family, if you want to accept him right now, you can pray this prayer with me. And I believe that as you accept him, your life will never be the same. So say these words. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you rose from the dead. And today, my sins are forgiven. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible says, whatever that we confess has become what we live. So I believe that you are living in the confession. Remember Christianity, it is the great confession. If you have spoken these words, the Lord has changed your life. You are now a child of God. So make sure that you study the word of God and you go to church. Find a church that you know that this is the right place for the presence of God in your life. So right now, family, I believe that the Lord has changed your life. Write to us an email and tell us that you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and we will guide you in what to do next. So the Lord bless you. Those who are having a desire to partner with us, don't forget, partnerships are open. Write into Jesus Reigns TV and be added on our partner's role so that we can pray with you. We know that you are our ministry partner. I believe the best is yet to come and the Lord is going to do great things in your life. Thank you for watching. My name is Yamkela Joseph and the best is yet to come. Shalom, shalom. Men anointed by God for such a time as this, proclaiming the decrees of heaven and announcing the seasons of God among man. A man aligned with the calendar of heaven. A prophet with an attitude of a servant, a father with a heart of son, a voice of prophecy in this generation.